Hi everyone, we are live here at InGame UK, the retro gaming bunker, and tonight we've got a little bit of light strategy uh, playing Baghdad 1055 with the games designer. Um, and we're here for, yeah, the entire evening. So if you want to join us, uh, do. Chat is enabled. Um, if you make any comments on the video, we will do our best to acknowledge you and answer any questions that you may have. Um, you don't want to hear from me all night, so let's switch over and meet today's players. Hey everyone, how are you all doing? Hello. Hi, doing great. Good. And Hafiz, how are you? You are the games designer. You've brought this game to our attention and it looks it looks pretty cool, I'll be honest. I'm excited. Well, thank you, thank you. I'm I'm doing great. I'm happy to be here to play this with uh, with other humans. It's, it's nice. <laughs> Uh, um, to actually see people. <laughs> and whereabouts in the world are you? I am located in Toronto, Canada. So uh, it's it's middle of the day. It's the perfect timing to play a board game where I'm at. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, and just quickly, tell us a little bit about the game. What was the inspiration behind this, this one? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm a high school history teacher. I've been doing it for over a decade. And um, I like to merge my interest board games with what I teach because I feel like it's a really great way for students to engage with what's going on. So I made a few and um, I was teaching a world history class and I was teaching about uh, the Middle East during the medieval uh, times and it was really cool. Lots of like Game of Thrones kind of things like politics and backstabbing and taking over <laughs> and like all these different things. Boring as hell to read about. And so I'm like, <laughs> this is the perfect opportunity to build a board game. And so I spent a bunch of time, I made a game. Um, it was a photocopy of a map, some pipe cleaners and, and some cards that I made off of PowerPoint that I printed uh, to six sided and back in front. And um, it stuck with me. So I've been tweaking it, iterating it, working through it for the last little while, playing with friends, family, folks like yourself. Brilliant. And uh, I'm, I'm just excited to uh, to share this with you guys. Too. Fantastic. And we're, we're excited to have you on. Um, I must I must say, just to pick up on this, I didn't realise you were a history teacher, actually, until you just said. And um, yeah, games for learning. I'm all for using more computer games, analogue games for education and training. It's an industry I used to work in um, and it's something I'm, I'm quite passionate about. So that's really cool to hear. Uh, Nick, you're yeah. sort of... Um, we'll, we'll do Nick. Nick, how are you? I'm doing good. Yeah, thanks. How are you feeling today? Well, well, I, I'm fine. I'm feeling good. Uh, area control. I'm, I'm, I'm up for this. This is going to get pretty mean <laughs> pretty quickly, I reckon. <laughs> um, yep. And last but not least, Chris, how are you this evening? Oh, I'm good. Always good. <laughs> and you've changed your background. Yes. Uh, Where we, are you like, this evening? I've been for a few weeks, actually. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's just a no. Where are you? You're, you're in... Another bit of uh, Plymouth, yeah. Another bit of uh, Plymouth, a bit further down uh, by the old harbour, uh, and the the new sculpture that's been put up by the guy you made, uh, the Angel of the North. Hmm. You did, you did actually tell us that last week. Well, it's great to have you both back again, as it is always every Good single that. week. Yeah. Um, Chris has just commented on the video on Facebook. If you want your name to be displayed in the chat. You have to acknowledge uh, some T's and C's, um, so please do click that link and click through. Everyone's got drink in hand. I think we're all ready, so we're going to switch topic. switch to the game. So do bear with me one second. Okay, you are all in place. Everyone can see uh, Tabletopia, and it's over to you. Yeah. Havis, if you'd like Perfect. to, um, yeah, talk us through what we're doing. Cool. Absolutely. So it is a uh, pretty quick area of control game. Everyone is playing as a different empire that existed at this period in time. And your goal is to try and have the most power and influence by taking over spots on the board, which is just shown by these little squares that are on the map. Um, I should say the map is prototype art, so it'll look a little bit nicer down the line. Um, you can also build up points and build up your power and prestige by building buildings. And if you were so inclined, taking over other people's land. So the way the game works is um, when on a player's turn, they select three cards from any combination from these three decks over here. So we have an expand one, a developed one, a military one. We'll go through those in a moment. Once you have those in hand, 
then you can decide, do I want to play these? Do I not want to play them? You can hold on to them if you like. Everyone also gets a bonus action. So on the table, you'll notice, and it, it doesn't look as fancy right now, but there is uh, a player turn card that just tells you what you do. Everyone gets a bonus, so you can decide if you want an additional movement, if you want additional um, attack, or if you want to get some extra money. And uh, once you're done, then you just have to tidy up. You just need to make sure you have less than five cards or five cards or less at the end of your turn. And then it moves to the next person. Throughout the game, you can negotiate with people too. So I could say, hey, Chris, do you want to gang up on Nick on this next turn? And uh, we could we could discuss and figure that out. If you want to bribe people, you can offer them some money. You do not have to follow through on anything you agree on. So we could, I could get Chris to do something that might benefit me and then completely turn around and stab him in the back. Um, and so feel free to do that throughout the game. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll, we don't we'll need any encouragement, I'll be honest. <laughs> uh, I should also note there's two different kinds of tokens on here. So one of them is these little cubes. These are just to indicate when you take over a spot. And then there's these circles. The circles are just to show buildings, uh, just to tell the difference between the two. Mm -hmm. And what does that mean? Well, we'll take a look in a moment. Here are the different decks and what's inside of them. So I'm just going to take uh, I'm gonna take one of these ones. It's going to bring it up the top and flip it over. So this card over here is our uh, movement card. And at the bottom, it just has different symbols on there. So this has three symbols. That means you can move outwards three spots. And so I'm just going to show an example. I'm the, I'm the green folks over here. Uh, if I decided to play this card, I could then decide any of these empty spots. I am going to put my token on there. They now belong to me. And, and they have to be adjacent I, to where you currently are. Yeah, they have to expand okay. out from a spot you already have. Okay. okay. And so then this territory now all belongs to me. There's these develop cards. So there's different kinds of develop cards. So I'm just going to drag a few over and hopefully we get a bunch of different ones. No, we're getting all the same. Okay. Nice. Oh, I, there we go. Okay. I really should have shuffled this beforehand. So there's <laughs> two different kinds of cards that you'll find in uh, in this deck. There are harvest cards, which look like this, and there's a little token at the bottom that shows the amount of money. If you pick one of these up, it just means you've gathered a harvest, you've gotten some money. You can add that to your total. So you just grab from the bank over here and just add it to yours. And if you pick up one of these building ones, and there's different kinds of buildings, you can pay the amount that's listed on here. So this one, uh, I think is four, I'm just gonna pull it up. Yeah, this is four coins. If I was to pay for this, I would then just take this card and I would keep it uh, faced up in front of me. I've now built this building. I can pick a spot that I own. So I own four spots here. And then I can add, this is saying three building tokens. I'm gonna add it over here. One, two, and, and three. Now, this is important for when people wanna try and take you over. That's also important because these are worth points. So every mm -hmm. token you have on the board is worth one victory point at the end of the game. So it's nice and easy to do the uh, scoring at the end, just count up your color on the board. So these are the, I'm just gonna gather all of them. These are the uh, development cards. And then we have, that goes back in. Then we have the military cards. So the military cards are in this deck over here. And we'll take one over and flip it. Ah, that's a good one to have. Devastation. Okay. So just like the movement ones, these ones have different icons at the bottom. And that's how powerful they are. Say you wanted to move out and take over a spot, but someone was already there. The only way for you to be able to take it over is to fight them for it. Um, it's very much like if I wanted to get into a fight with my brother and he's in the other room, I got to go to the other room, then I can punch him. So you want to use your expand, you want to use your movements to move to the spot that you want to go to, and then you can use this to attack. The way you take over a spot is based on how many tokens there are. So if I wanted to take over this spot right over here, there's just one token. So I just have to use one military to take that over. This spot over here, however, has three tokens. You would need to use four military to take it over. So you just need to match your military to the number of tokens. The nice thing is, say someone does take this over, um, they don't just destroy everything. They actually replace it with their own tokens. So there's four over here. So mm -hmm. say, for instance, uh, I'll use Nick as an example. Nick takes this over. Well, he oh, yeah. would then, he would then put uh, three building tokens and one of his normal tokens here. And he owns the spot. Yeah. So if someone wants to take this from Nick, they need to use four military. 
So you're never burning down the buildings, it's just you took over this, you now own this territory, mm -hmm. you own the cities and everything that are in there. Um, you can't split buildings up, by the way, so say I wanted to actually put this here. That doesn't work because you can't have, say, half of a library in one city and half mm -hmm. in another. Um, it, would, it would topple right over and <laughs> it would be no good to anyone. And so uh, those are those, but the devastation cards uh, are also quite fun. There is a devastation for each person in the game. And so for the devastation card, if you pick one of these things up and it's for someone else and it lists on the card who it affects, you can play this and then this will essentially screw them over for roughly a round. Um, That's cool. It means they have to get rid of their military. They have to pay up some cards. They don't have enough things to resolve this on their next turn when they're drawing. They have to draw. So say this says you have to get rid of five military. There's three over here. If this is the only card that I had and this was played on me, my next on my next turn at the start when I'm drawing cards, I probably have to just draw military to even this out. Um, so this sucks and it throws off people's plans and it's also very fun. You can use this to blackmail people in bluff. I could say that um, mm -hmm. you know I have yours, so you know you better work with me to work this person, otherwise I'm going to play it. Uh, even if I don't have the card, I could just bluff. If you pick up your own, you can hold it in your hand, guaranteeing it never gets played. However, your hand limit at the end of the game is five cards. So really, it limits you. You don't get screwed over, but you have less options as you're playing through. The reason that there's can, a hand can limit Can you play it? I suppose you wouldn't want to play it yourself. Could you play it just to get it out of your hand? You yourself? could, but then it affects, it affects you. Yeah, okay. Um, I've gotten some feedback and I might actually change it up in the game where the devastations don't impact a specific person, they impact everyone, but mm -hmm. they have an extra screw you to one particular player. Right. So yeah. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. working on just changing this so you could play it on anyone. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be on that one person, but I haven't changed the cards yet. So we'll go with the original version and everything's okay. just written on there. There is one final thing. Uh, oh, you can also split your military up. So say for instance, um, Nick, I think is the, the black token ones. Say Nick wanted to move three spaces. He had a thing for movement in three spaces and he wanted to take over. It's going to be this moving He wanted to take over these three spots here. One, two, and three. Mm -hmm. He can divide up his movement and his military to take over one, two, and three. So you don't have to use all of them. Now, if he decided to use all three of these on one spot, it's it's like killing a mosquito with a shotgun. Like, yeah, you did it, but it's a little bit of an overkill. Um, once we start doing a round, it'll make a little bit more sense as we're going through. But essentially what you're doing is you're drafting cards and then you're going to decide how you want to play them to uh, take your actions. It also is a game where you have to react to how other people are playing. So if someone is making their way towards you, you may want to build up a little bit more of your buildings to make sure that your territories are safe. Or okay. you may want to start making alliances with someone else who's also in a weak position. Okay. Um, flip this over and we'll add this guy back in and shuffle that. The final thing and something I should have mentioned earlier is all of us also have a leader. It's this uh, nicely illustrated person here. Now next to the leader is just a little card and it tells you about an advantage that you have with that particular player. So for instance, um, this person over here, uh, their leader advantages they get an additional four military. So they say they just wanted to take something over. Um, they could play that. They're like, I'm using my leader advantage. Uh, this person's leader advantage keeps them, they have immunity for one round. No one can attack them. Uh, this person's over here. Uh, they get to draw three extra cards in their hand. So you can take a look at uh, what your advantage is. So there is something on the back of these cards. I have to update them. What you would want to do is take a look at the one that just next to it, the, the white cards over here. Cool. And that'll okay. tell you what your advantage is. Yep. Okay. Um, you can use your advantage once, and you cannot use it in the final round because that will break the game. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> you can decide when you want to use it early and get a quick advantage. Do you want to save it in case that you, in case you need it down the line? Um, do you want to try and force someone into a position where they have to take their advantage? Uh, so that's up to you. Okay. And that's that's essentially it. We go around in turns. We're going to start with, I believe we we're going to start with Nick. It will go in clockwise order. Okay. And uh, every time everyone's turn is done, and we just move the tracker down by one, we're going to play for eight rounds. And when we get to the end, we, we just take a look at the winner. Money, uh, so the points are based on your tokens on the board. They're each worth one, depending on how many you have. Mm -hmm. For every three coins you have, you also get eight points. 
And um, whoever is in control of Baghdad, since it's the name of the game, will receive this card and an additional three points at the end of the game. Okay. I've got one question. That was that was an excellent explanation. Thank you for that. Um, Chris has just posted uh, a URL link to the website that is currently un under development. So if you want to see more of the stunning artwork that's been put together, do go, do go check that out um, and learn a little mm, bit more about the game. Um, I've only got one question. Is there a cap on how many buildings and... Um, pieces you can have in one square there is no cap uh, okay. at the moment in fact that could be a strategy to try and bunker in and just build up um there is one thing though you cannot eliminate a player in the game they have to be left with at least one spot but um if that's the case and they decide all they're going to do is just keep building up and up and up um you can start attacking their their buildings and taking them away one by one okay cool Nice one. Does Chris need another green circle in his air sorting area? No, no, Chris. Um, who's green? Jinners. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. I need to bring this one extra off there. Yeah. Oh, right there. Cool. Okay. So, start of the game. So, I get to, uh, extra shuffling. Um, so, I can draw three cards from any of the decks. I think I'm ever going for. I'm going to do one of each. Not, not a bad way to start off. Yep. You also get uh, a bonus action. So you can okay. gain an additional two coins, you can gain an additional movement, or you can gain an additional military. So it's up to you how you want to spend that. But uh, that's in addition to the cards okay. you have in your hand. OK. Um, and I'm going to play all three of my cards before the turn passes on. All right. Oh, awesome. Um, but I don't have to play all of them. You don't. You can hold on to them if you want. Okay. Um, I might as well play that one. That's the harvest. So are they going to be discard pile, do they? Uh, you can just put it below where that deck is, and I'm just going to yep. drop a coin over for you over here. Thank you. And then I will expand. That's a one expand. So I'll put the line all token. And I'm going to go this way. And that's all I'm going to do now. Okay. And then you get the bonus action. So you want an additional movement, you want some coins, you can't really attack anyone at the moment. I think I'll do an additional movement. Um, yeah. Actually, remind me move, movement. How does I, movement work? What am I moving? It, uh, it lets you just claim one of the empty spots that are around you. Okay, is that the same as expand? Yeah, pretty much. Right. Okay, I'll go this way. Okay. Excellent. So, round two. Chris, over to you. Uh, uh, we so I'm, in I'm blue or a tie. Yes, you are. Uh, oh, yeah, I don't know. Well, you're red and oh, TTS. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pieces. Like and red and... Yeah, 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 pieces yeah. are blue. Cool. You're blue. Uh, okay. So I'm going to grab two expand. Uh, and one develop. Okay. Uh, so. What are you going to do? Yeah, what are you going to do? So, first one. Uh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do when they come? Okay. Yeah, so you can actually grab two spots on the board because there's two of the tokens there. Hello to people watching yeah, us head on to Twitch. Dinners. If you do have any questions, don't come for me or you will regret it. <laughs> Um, <laughs> the yeah, threats are I, already coming. Can I assume that the um, water areas are are impassable? Uh, the water areas you can just claim uh, oh, anywhere okay. that there's a box. You can you can take it over. So there's I, no additional movement or anything needed for that. I notice they've all got half land, half sea anyway. So mm -hmm. you can, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, the only uh, areas you can't take are just this corner down yeah. here, and then this big area uh, over yeah. here. <laughs> The plan is to add some sea monsters onto the, the next map to block those <laughs> cool, off. So yeah. Try and dissuade people from going there because the monster might eat you. 
and expanding the fight again. Mm. You're spreading out everywhere. I'm interested. I'm, I'm establishing a border. That's all I'm doing. I'm just establishing oh, yeah, yeah, a border. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want us to come and take over? That's I know that. Why? Uh, and then, you uh, also have a bonus action, so you can get uh, two coins. Sorry, I shortchanged you over here. So I'll add that there you go, Nick. Uh, Chris, you get a bonus action. You can get one more uh, expand or movement. You can uh, get two coins, or you can attack. Well, you use up all your movements. You can't actually go anywhere to attack anyone, so you can choose between claiming another spot or getting some money. Uh, I will have some money, please. All right, I'm going to add oh. that to your stack over there. Uh, and then I'm going to use this develop card. Awesome. So you can actually keep this in front of you, show that you built it. Ah. And then four coins. Yeah, I'll grab these. Three tokens. That's good. That's what you gave me an extra one, then. Right. Are you done? Yeah, yeah. Building. yeah so you can pick a spot building. and then you can add three building tokens onto it. So Is if it anyone wants that? to take over this spot but that he's great. adding it to, it's going to take you four military to do it. Uh, can it, it yeah, all have to go on the same? They all have to be on the, the same spot, yeah. Okay. In that case, Put it half okay. in the sea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to reinforce that spot. Uh, yeah, they're forcing your yeah. border. Uh, wow. Okay. No gin is coming ways. Okay, I'm going to take some cards. People watching at home, you'll be able to see. Oops, what's happened? Sorry, my mouse is playing up two sets. There we go. Oops. Yep, yeah, fine. Okay. So I've just taken uh, two ex two expand cards and one develop card. Um, I'm going to play Harvest, which is two coins. Okay, Thank you very much. Here you go. And then let's start expanding. So. Oh, and just a reminder: you have a bonus action, so you can use this to get more coins, uh, another expand, yeah. or. Since you have movement, you can use this as a military and attack someone's space if you like. <laughs> and look, Chris is sitting there right next to you. Yeah, I'm going to win as you like. So, just, your nick is also I'm going to play. <laughs> oops, sorry for people at home watching. I just pressed the spacebar. Never do that on tabletop sim. <laughs> um, I've just played expand, so move one okay. space and claim space if unoccupied. Okay, so. Let's go here. Yeah. That belongs to you now. Let's play another expand. Can you move diagonally? Uh, yeah, you can move diagonally. Okay. okay. And then I've got one bonus action. Let's go. Do you take a card or just decide what you want to do? You can just decide. So if you want, you can claim another spot, or you can take two more coins. Yeah, let's take another spot a minute. Okay. All right. I'm going to grab one of each. And what are the coins used for? So you can use this in, in this develop deck. There are some buildings that come up. So you can see over okay, here, got you. Uh, Chris ended up picking one up. And if you have, uh, you can pay for them, and that helps you pretty much shore up the territory. Yeah, great. Okay. All right, I am going to move outwards. So I'll grab a few spots. One, and I'm going to come towards Baghdad, too. And I'm going to get some money. And so I'll grab three of those. One, two, and three. And I think for my next action, I'm going to take another movement. So I'm going to come up over here. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned at the start of the game about this being quite an interesting period of history. Mm -hmm. um, tell us a little bit about it. So who are, who are these 
characters and and what was going on during during that time of history yeah so this this is the period that leads its leads up right towards um the crusade so a lot of the things that happened during this period are the dominoes that led to that um these different empires so there's these abbasids and the fatimids um in these are both islamic empires that uh, that grew out after the development of islam and they were both powerhouses during the, the golden age they they both um had huge cities uh, lots of learning and everything else but they were in direct competition with one another because they were both trying to say we're the legitimate ones that run these areas mm. um at this time uh this group was get, becoming a bit stronger this one had been around for a few hundred years it started to decline so they start inviting in uh this group over here the seljuks to help them out these were nomadic tribesmen um, from further further east in the steppes and they started to build up and consolidate their power and make their way through so they got invited they uh so the fatimids had actually taken over baghdad they kicked them out uh gave it back to these guys and realized these guys aren't very powerful so we run this now and uh you know you guys still have power in name but we're the ones who are controlling it and so um and then they just started making their way westward uh, moving into this area over here, eventually into Byzantine territory, and then all the stuff that went down that led to the call for the Crusades cool. to come and help. Um, at the same time, there were other nomadic tribesmen from the east that were also being invited to come in. So these guys aligned with these guys, these guys aligned with these guys, these guys took over the power from them. These guys hate one another uh, because they're both trying to claim that they're the true rulers of this area. Um, we're thinking of adding in a fifth player which would be the Byzantines and then they would start off over here and make their way in and mm. uh it just it was just a really interesting period in history mm. where there's all these different back and forths and things that just impacted what was going on these guys never would have made their way westward had there not been some droughts and environmental issues in the grasslands that drove them further west to try and find food which in the short term helped these guys out in the long term not so much um and so that was in a nutshell, a bunch of the things that were happening at the time. But mm. the purpose of when I made this game was there's a lot of larger arcs of history that I wanted the students to learn about. Um, okay. The movements of peoples, the shifting of alliances, the how borders were never really set. Um, this idea that the friend of my enemy, uh, the, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Um, mm. And that, you know, I'm going to base who I'm going to align with um, based on what's best for me. So. You know something might make sense on paper like why why did this person backstab this person it made a lot of sense for them during this so mm. the game itself became a what if history in my classroom students would play this and then when we jumped into the book to see okay what actually took place they were invested because now they mm. they had played with these people like oh yeah i won mm. i want to see if that actually happened in real life and they would smack talk one another during the readings it was really fun um to see what's going on they would question things that were happening like why did this person do this when this strategy clearly worked better and so as a history teacher i i loved hearing that on the non-history side if you are not a history person or don't want to have those memories of school hopefully the game is also one that you could just play and have fun with and and just you know sabotage your friends and make <laughs> brilliant That's strength and friendships yeah definitely cool Okay. Well, we finished round round one. Round, round one. one. Yeah. So we'll move this token yeah. down, and then we will start the next round uh, over. So that is going to start with you, Nick. And oh, uh, I've drawn some cards already. Oh, perfect. So I'm all ready. Um, I, what I see you're mean? taking some military too. Or should we be worried? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> so I am going to expand. <laughs> Where am I going to go? Who am I going to attack? I think Chris is looking a bit too cozy with his big army. Now I'm going to expand into here and have a little fight. Remember that, Chris. Yeah. I didn't right. attack you. It's duly noted. Yeah. Okay. You, would you like to flick his icon or his token off the board, or do you want me to just flick? Oh, flicking. I get to get flicking while I'm flicking. Okay. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> I love it. There okay, so shock military, <laughs> and now, you I'm still have build a... a building 
And you also have a bonus movement or a bonus action, so you can still move one more spot if you wanted to use this I other might, military. Yeah, I might start coming down more. Oh. Jinnis is spreading that way. I'm actually going to go this way. And yeah, that's a wise move. Kind of start blocking that area. Um, okay, so I'm going to build a building, um, which is going to cost me uh, four points. Can you do that for me? That's very fine. So, let's add three tokens. Green in yeah. Cairo looks pretty well. Oh no, it doesn't necessarily matter because these squares still do connect, don't they? Interesting. Okay. The Red yeah, Sea so looks like a natural. A slightly block. Yeah. Yeah, so green can spread down this way. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to keep that other card with me. Hello. Did you take all the coins? Hello five, to people four, joining so us. Sorry, talking over Nick. I was just saying hello to people watching okay. us on Facebook. Thanks for joining us. Hello, We're people. Having a lovely Saturday night. <laughs> um, so, question, yeah. um, Hafiz. Yeah. If you want to play your leader advantage, when do you need to say that you're playing it? To the beginning of your turn? Uh, Any time during your turn. So if you wanted to play that after you've done I'm all your I'm going to play it now, but... Okay, yeah, you uh, can yeah, definitely play it now, back. but it's one-time use, so after yeah, I'm, I'm not going to play it now. I'm going to leave it for now because I'm not okay. in uh, theory. Yeah. I'm not in <laughs> danger just yet. Yeah, so that's my building. Um, but yeah, anytime during your turn, you can say you want to okay. do it. I think it works best after you've played your actions, but it depends on what you have. So for instance, um, the Turks over here, their advantage mm -hmm. lets them draw six cards at the start of the turn versus just drawing three. So it gives them a lot more options. Is. Hello. I'm, 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 I'm I have no interest in in your land. I'm, oh, I'm much more interested in, in expanding west. That that is very uh, good Persian to hear because okay. I'm, I'm keen to I'm, settle my you want my, to uh, my minions to the south. Through, so Guinness. you know the the, the Caspian Sea thing. and across that way. Yeah, well, um, I'm thinking the Persian a, Gulf is very attractive this time of year. <laughs> so yeah, I, I see a synergy between our two. Uh, I'm surrounded uh, two by people. I think I think we can carve up this area between us. I can. I think Baghdad should be ours. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm glad we cleared that up. Yeah, I'm happy to work with you, Chris. That's what I was Good. going for. Okay. Yeah, they're going off now. I know. <laughs> <laughs> You did beat me like, on looking, Thursday yeah, night, I did, Nick, as well. I did beat you the other day, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so do you guys have a gentleman's agreement? Totally, yeah. totally. <laughs> it, the virtual handshake. <laughs> That'll never last, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it won't. Okay. Um, okay. It might last so, a round. <laughs> I'm going to grab... Let's go for... Andrew, I'll give you a coin if you start going after Nick. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't tempt Jinders like that. He doesn't need an excuse. He doesn't need bribery. You just tell him to go. Do you like coins? <laughs> They're nice and shiny. Um, so my free yeah, well, coins, you've got a deal. Yeah, a plus four military for one turn. So hmm. do I use that instead of a, a military card, or you can use that. You can use it with military as well. So. Um, so I, I need a military card to initially use it, or... Oh no, you could just say, I'm I'm going to use this. You don't have to have a military card to be able to activate it. But if you had military cards, you could just play them all together. So if you had a military of three plus that, you have seven military. That should allow you to take over quite a few spots on the board. Okay. In fact, actually, that would allow okay, you to home area, look at all of this over here. Oh wait, that's you. That would allow you to take over oh, this whole <laughs> over here, <laughs> just with your advantage if you wanted to. Take a military and not oh, even a round. It's not even going to last. That gentleman's it, agreement. It's only the second round. Won't even last that <laughs> one. Uh, Priceless. Yeah. And, and I still have this shiny coin over here for you. Three uh, coins. Three coins is more tempting. Three? I'm going to leave this here. <laughs> Three quarters of the way between us. Okay. Good 
this is deep in thought. So if you want to take these ones over, you'll have to use your military with them. Yeah. Uh, and then I've got the second to command. That's a lot of attacking you're doing. You woke up the sleeping dragon. Five expand? There we go, five expand. Uh, two lots of three. Oh Give wow, yeah. Oh, my word! Uh, and oh, then we use that two military with my <laughs> plus four military. Yeah, that's six military. Just, just like that. Nab all those areas. Is that correct? Wow. Yep, so, so these are. Yeah. I have so, to give you my building card. Yep, and then I'm just going to take these off, and then you get to replace all of his tokens with yours. So you get to add three buildings onto this spot. Nick, maybe you should have used your uh, your immunity advantage. I didn't think we were going quite that going so early. I didn't think I was going that aggressively either. <laughs> to be honest. Um, Right, I'm going to remember that on my next turn, Chris. <laughs> you haven't seen what's left in my hand there. Yeah. I'll just, just cover up your advantage to show it's <laughs> Okay. Why go south when I can attack you? <laughs> I'm going to take an expand. An expand. Yeah, all over again. Take points develop. Away. Yeah, I've got to take points away from you. And my... With the bonus action, plus one military. <clears throat> so, if I was occupying a space, say, here, with Nick, that plus <clears throat> one military would be enough to convert him. Is that correct? Yeah, because he's just okay. got one token on there. You just have to be able to move into that space yep. or expand into that space first. That's entirely theoretical, Legend. It's not... <laughs> it's not the way you have to do <laughs> You're all coming for Baghdad, aren't you? But yeah, see, see, since you have three cards that aren't uh, that aren't military, the bonus should give you one if you wanted to go that route. Okay. So, bonus. Move one. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm going to play all my harvest for free coins. Um, yeah, we were saying before beforehand that your brother's currently running a, a Kickstarter. Well, yeah, he's big into D and D, and he's oh. been especially during the pandemic. He's been doing games with us online, and our group never checks our items. So he decided to come up with um, a bunch of malfunctioning and malicious magic items. The idea was, if what, what happened was we were at a, a wizard's tower and we couldn't get in. So we started like digging around and looking around. We found his scrap pile of all of his rejected uh, <laughs> items. And so uh, my brother was looking all over the place to find these different items that he could give us that were broken, but that wouldn't break the game. So I got a ring of invisibility, but it shrieked when you put it on. Um, so <laughs> completely gave away where I was, but it was invisible. And so he decided to just make a whole bunch of these. So he's got a campaign that's live right now under malfunctioning and malicious magic items. Um, He's got Loot Tavern to do the art for all of the cards. And the uh, the box that it comes in is shaped like a book, opens like a book. And uh, there's one pledge tier where if you pledge that one, your name will actually be on the inside cover under the list of people to be poisoned by this mage. So mage's book filled with these magical items. Uh, the nice thing is it has all these different things for a, a dungeon master as well. So you could play it just as a regular item. There's a GM extension, there's a background uh, on the Kickstarter. He's got a compendium you can download. It gives a description of all the cards uh, that are there. He just unlocked three new cards. He's on his way. I'm sure by tonight he's going to unlock another few cards. Um, so it's a pretty cool pretty cool thing that's out there. If anyone who's into D&D or knows anyone who's into D&D, um, I am biased. I think it's great. But take a look. The site uh, or the page looks really cool. OK, oh. so I've just used my special ability. Uh, it, it does. So my question is, is, how have you jumped over the space? I played a card that allowed me to move two spaces. Uh, move two Isn't spaces, claim space, space if unoccupied. Oh, uh, so you can't jump over spots. As you move, you start to... to okay. Uh, so there should be a one in that box. Yeah, okay, fine. Yeah. So I, I just do so it slightly have... differently. 
Yeah, so, so you actually have one more uh, token on the board, which is good. Cool. Okay. Sorry, so my card that I played, just so I'm clear, was this one. Expand. Move two spaces, claim space if unoccupied. So in my jumping this space, I would have automatically claimed it. Is that what you're saying? So yeah, I moved uh, from here. Yeah, one, as two. you're moving, yeah. as you're moving uh, any space that you go into that's empty, you then claim. So, okay, uh, that's great. So that yeah. means my new the expand card, I've used my special ability. Um, I get to move one small space. So I'm going to move down here. Uh, I'll harvest again for two coins. How are you asking us so many movements? Because yeah. I've just you, I've got lots more, yeah. lots more coin, a lot more cards. Right, I'm done. That's me. I, this I is out of the game. My original plan was to go after Nick. I feel a little. Oh, Nick, you want to oh, team? Do you want to team up against these two? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Green and black against the rest of the world. You take purple, I take blue? Yep. All right. Go time. So I am going Going to... down, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I am... I don't know if I should use this now. I'm going to use it now. I'm going to use my leader advantage. So this one lets me convert four spots on the board that don't have buildings that are connected to my territory. So this now belongs to me. This belongs to me. <laughs> this belongs to me. And you spoke so highly of the Caspian that this now also belongs. To me. <laughs> um, it's so used in summer. That's been used up. And uh, all right, I still got to draw my card, so let's do that. <laughs> Take one of each. <laughs> All right, so I am going to uh, move. And with that, I'm going to play some military. I'm going to do that military there and this military. Now, this has also got a coin symbol. If you ever pick up a card that has a coin symbol, you also get a coin with that. So I'm going to take this. And together with one my one movement, and uh, so this is four, that's enough for me to take over this spot right over here uh, just one question did i get my bonus coin from you for attacking nick did you did you did you give me that i, I, I took it, it back here. you took it back <laughs> yeah here you can have yeah, it you didn't you want oh uh, that's here. kind of you so you're, you're not, <laughs> not you brilliant i get you there it is okay your word is your bonds it seems like we could be we could be allies in the future I mean, we could still be allies. I gave you a coin. Yeah, exactly. I, and I'm and I'm not attacking you. Your I'm, I'm attacking so. your biggest rival right now. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty strong right on your doorstep. <laughs> and he's got the eyes of someone about to betray you. That's what it is. I'm going to <laughs> grab that one coin. I also am going to use my bonus action to claim one more spot. I'm going to claim over here. And so let's gather these two and put them away. So that is the end of my turn, and the only one that has their advantage left now is Nick, who is all by himself with his one spot. Well, no one can attack me there anyway. I'm just going to turtle down in that bag and sit there for the rest of the game. <laughs> Four points, three. <laughs> right, end of round. Oh yeah, end of round. We'll move this down. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm just going to draw three expand cards. I'm gonna go. Diddy ding, expand to crazy. Right, so three. Oh, uh, that one should belong to you. Oh yes, thank you. Two. Don't hold on to it too long. <laughs> and I'm gonna expand again. Two to one. Uh, wrong, wrong cube. Oh, yeah. Swap that oh, out. Don't do that. There we go. Yeah. Um. Expand two more. Yeah. Wow. And one in here. Oh. Are you going to use your bonus action? Oh. Kachoo. 
All right, take me out. No, I'm wondering, I'm not still thinking about my bonus action. Um, so you can get some money or you can cars are gonna go, keep expanding. I'm going wow. To... wow, risen from the ashes. Oh, uh, yeah, they're not very strong. I've just spread myself very, very thin. This is usually my mistake in small world as well. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing usually. <laughs> This is good though. We've we've contained them in this corner over here. Yep, yep. You're not getting out, boys. That's it. Chris, you okay? <laughs> That's the need. I'm waiting for the backstab. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, I'm gonna before he goes. I'm gonna play my leader advantage, so you can't. Okay. So no one can attack, attack me, Nick, until it gets hit after his death. That's Ooh. nice, you got a nice little blockade going on over there. I'm going to put this up here to remind people. Chris, yeah. remember our, our alliance yeah, here. Um, <laughs> and on the on notes that I can't attack Nick, look at my options of where I can can be moving. You can also just build up your hand in this round and then go gangbusters yeah, on the next true, one. True, true, You've got true. all of these nice tokens up here that uh, re really you could just convert. I so, don't think I'll do that. Oh, no, you're from here. You could sneak around here. <laughs> you are well contained. We are quite well contained at this one point. One of each, not bad. The music's yeah. just got quite dramatic for people at home. <laughs> Very appropriate. So I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to expand into yeah. Create this one, which gives me coin. I'm betting Jonas has got a devastation that attacks me. It's guaranteed. <laughs> that would be brilliant. Um, and then I'm going to use that. It <laughs> would be so funny. Do I need to use a military on that? Uh, on this one over here? Uh, yeah. You could use your uh, bonus no, it's true, but you have to use a movement. You can use your bonus action and move here to take it if you like. Uh oh, yeah, no, I've, I've done that wrong actually. Actually, I didn't need to use that military because I, I, yeah, I was going to use military for this space here. The I've got that wrong. Sorry. Um, so you got this one already. You you already oh, moved yeah. it from here. Okay. Uh, so yeah. So now I'll, I'll just take a. Um, okay, I'll use the harvest gain three coin. Uh, and then I'll add in building two coin. Which would go in. Um, okay. Oh, and bonus action. Yeah, I'll just give two coins. Okay. Uh, so to you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Can take two developers. Three developers. Let's give it a go. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, building strat I. So we've got the coins right. Harvest. Harvest. Three coins. Money, money, money. And then. Rolling in the day. Building. Strengthen territory. Pay three coins and add two tokens. And you keep the card in front of you, please. So again, you keep that one in front of you, do you? You keep the card, yes. Yeah, so mind you, you've got it. Okay. Yeah, got it. Um, Shoring up. Hmm. For some reason, 
So you'd have to add them uh, on the same spot. Ah, uh, right. Okay, got you. Fine. So that's smart, showing up right across from Baghdad. Mm. Okay, and I've got one bonus action. Um, you have some spots over here if you want to claim yeah, them. Yeah, I'm going to claim. Well, you can. That's it, isn't it? That's all I can do. So, yeah. cool. that's me. Good. I'm going to go for two military and one movement. And I am just going to use my movement and my bonus action as a movement. So I'm going to claim these three spots here. When are you looking at taking this to Kickstarter? Uh, nine months from now, so probably in February. Uh, my artist is getting a, a few more pieces done for us. And um, as you can tell from these little non-colorful air cars and other things, we just need to do a few updates. Yeah. Um, we're also working on adding that fifth person as an expansion over here. But we've gotten a good, good number of playtests in, uh, just doing a few tweaks, getting everything ready. Uh, getting the marketing done, I'm not good with the marketing side, which is why the landing page looks the way it does at the moment. Um, but but we're getting there step by step. Pretty cool. And then that was the end of my turn, so we're going to move this down. We are back to the next. Cool. Having to expand, and what shall I have? Oh. Military. We're still cool, right? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. It's all good. I wouldn't believe them for a second. No, don't. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to expand a one, and I expand a two. I use my bonus to take out that one. Yep. Um. Your immunity ends this round. I'm going to expand your one more anger coin. It's already ended. And I'm expanding up to here with my three military. Ooh. Yep. So off you go, Jinners. You're out. You're out of there. And this building now belongs to you. Wow. You okay. Boop. You go away. Boop. Showing up my western defences, eastern defences. Oh, Lovely, that's me done. Uh, yeah, I'll take my bonus. Oh, yes, that's me done. How do you, Chris? Okay. Say, so, as you draw them, can you look at them straight away, or? or... I did. I did. I drew and uh, one the, at a time. The rule said not you not to. You uh, draw really? Right, definitely not to. So does it bring the bonus, but we can play that way for now if you guys want. Um, no, let's. It let's gives a it bit through. extra strategy. I think if you get to see them as you go. Yeah, it it certainly um, helped me make a choice. decision on what cards I was taking. But it does. It it stops a bit of analysis paralysis if you have forced to draw three at once and not look at them. Mm. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll draw I'll mine and oops, grab a minute. And the devastation is in the military deck. Is that right? Yeah, devastation's in the military deck. Oh, something's coming. Um, yeah, the devastations on there on the card. Oh. It would say like this impacts this person, and I have the names just over here. So Seljuks is over here, Boss yeah. is there. I'm the Fatimids, and Andrew over here is the Turks. Just gonna move the money down. So it'll tell you on the devastation who it impacts, um, and then you could do that to to them. Um, in the updated version, what we're gonna do is just make the devastations hit anyone you want, mm -hmm. but. If you wanted to hit a particular person, so the the one that currently hits my player, um, in the future that one you could do it on anyone, but it would hurt if you did decide to do it on me. It would hurt me just slightly more than if you just did in someone general. So it still pushes you to go after one person, but you could use it on anyone you want. Okay. 
We've got another building. Yeah, the same building pop, shoring up those defenses. Popped in there. Yeah. Now we got the three now. The yeah, four so four total spent there. Um, and then I'm gonna keep my my funny card. Um, and then tons of cash. I'm gonna just take two coins. Okay. I'm gonna take three military cards. Ooh. You're an attacker now, right? You got four military now. <laughs> yeah. He is so one movement movement. bonus action, so whoever is close to him is in trouble. And I would us. just like to <laughs> reveal but this. But we have a gentleman's well, agreement exactly that I gave him a dollar. I would like just to reveal this. I'm not playing it. Are you revealing it to us? I see. Yeah. That attacks so, yourself. Just so we know that uh, it is not in the deck. Hard. Yeah. You could have kept that and we could have bluffed the weed with it. Yeah. Mm. Um. Hmm. And I've got one bonus action. You could move and attack someone's spot because you have the military yep. for it. Or so I'm you can get more to... coins, but I feel like you've got a good amount of those already. Yeah, I'm going to move into here. Use a movement and play. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's card. all that about? And I got over from you. Well, I think <laughs> you originally built that, anyways, didn't you? Yeah, yeah he did. <laughs> all right, there's your library the back. There. It is indeed. Thank you very much the for ever uh, shifting alliances for adding to the collection. There, it's a uh, it's a much more fuller library now. I like it. Right. Okay. The extent of yours, Jimmy? Yeah, that's my turn. Okay. All right. Let's grab two of these and one of these. So, I'm going to take over Baghdad. Huh. Oh, that's cheap, right. Broken Alliance, that's coming for you. The but the saying, important thing is, the important thing is, I now get this bonus for having Baghdad. There you go. There so you now... Go. <laughs> <laughs> We're only halfway right. through. There's plenty of time. In the words of a certain TV show, curse your sudden, but it never will be trained. <laughs> right, we got one coin from that. I'll move this up over here. And... I feel like... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do this as well. Um, I'm going to use my two movement. And then I'm going to use my three military and my bonus military, which gives me oh, four to I take know. over. Okay. Take out Chris at the top. Who are you going it's like for? he's played the game before or something. Yeah. <laughs> I think it should be us three, buddy. <laughs> okay. To be honest. I, feel, I want to make a little trophy, and anyone who beats me at the game, which has been many people, should earn that, and it just says that you beat the designer. Um, <laughs> That's cool. cool. Yeah. I'm going to get rid of that, too, because I have two Whoa. My bonus military will help with that. Did you have three in Casper's here? The, um... Uh, yeah, pretty good. Three yeah. military? Right there. Yeah, so you, you need another... More okay, like between us you, three... You need another one in there, because there were three of those. We need to be rinsing that military deck oh. and getting the Devastation card out <laughs> to uh, target green. Just saying. Yeah, that's the new plan. That okay. is the new plan. We're in round... All the way around five. We're in fifth round. Right, I'm having to expand. Uh, I'm surprised none of you are lining with one another. The military. Fourteen cards left. And uh, that's really annoying. 
Um, another military. Come on, devastation cards. Oh, that's so close. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I'll do expand. Yeah. Where is it? There it is. Let me get you. Using my bonus military to take that out. I deserve that. Um, actually, no. I'm going to use my military card to do that. Okay. You still have your bonus. I will just expand down here. I will keep the last one. That's uh, me done. At the whole of the south. I'm coming for the north. <laughs> the north remembers. Okay. Up to the wall. Take this. Oh, I think. I think I poked the sleeping bear, didn't I? Yeah. yeah it's, <laughs> it's all kicking off, though. Um, military, I love it. Okay. So, I'm gonna... Yep, it's happening. Move one spot. Alright, I'll see myself out. <laughs> the coin. Uh, you have then... so many buildings now! <laughs> uh, What's the end game scoring on buildings? Um, so every token you have on the board counts as one point. Okay. So, um, buildings aren't ahead. weighted then? No, but because mm -hmm. you can build up to different degrees, like one building, this one building is three, so yeah, this gives you yeah. three more points. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, so then you so you can get this thing come to that region. Um, so coins can only be used for, for more buildings. That is that correct? Yeah, for buildings at, at the end of the game, uh, every three coins equals one victory point. Okay. Don't we have any good? So you, if you wanted to use your military in a movement, you could take over another spot yeah so i've got no more useful military cards um that makes me think you picked up your own devastation maybe <laughs> chris is not the best at bluffing <laughs> no, he's, he's not got a very good poker face that's for sure i hate i hate tracer mechanic games so I will just grab two coins. <laughs> I like how you're going. Oh, the Cylon! I knew it. He's going for a lot of secret. Co he's going for a lot of coins. Right, I'm going to take two military and one expand card. Okay, so quick question. Yeah. I have a move uh, free spaces card. Mm. If all those spaces are occupied, do I drop one and then I can use fight on each one or moving into an occupied space? Does that does that stop, stop my, movement. my movement? So, does that make sense? Uh, yeah, let me use this card as an example. Okay, yeah. So say... Um, because I've definitely got the military cards. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm going to grab... I'll use this. Okay. So this one has two movement symbols and two yeah. military. You can split this up. So say um, you wanted to claim this spot and this spot. You yeah. can use one movement, one military to take this. Yeah, got you. Okay. One movement, one military to take that. And then these belong to you. So you can definitely split them up um, with your movement. Okay. Oops. Sorry for people watching at home. I just spun the camera around. Right, okay, so first thing I'm going to do, this is the the exciting, exciting round. I'm going to use my free movement to move in there. Um, and then you need two military to take it over. Yeah, so two military. I'm going to hand you this Baghdad card so you have a bonus of three yeah, points. thank you. Um, then you 
Yeah. Okay, so I've got an expand for free, so I'll go there. I'll go there. And I will go there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five military to get all of these. So two uh five, is it? One, two, three, yeah. four, five. Okay. Huh. One, and then, two, three. Yeah, I don't have enough. So. Have you used your bonus action yet? Because if you yeah, have I did I did use my bonus action, so sort of need to move somewhere else. Hmm. Hang on, let me but take that back a minute. Available? So no, 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 they're not. No, this, no. this isn't over here, just the squares. But you yeah. have these other military cards, so if you have additional, you can add them all together. So this would cost you three to take over. This just costs you one, this costs you one. You have three movements, so you can move along these three spots if you want. Yeah, no, I know. Um, bear with me one second, I need to think this through. Um, that sucks, by the way. I was planning on building a Baghdad on my next turn. <laughs> Seems wasteful not to spend that third movement. Um, yeah, and I don't have enough, and I can't get to an unoccupied space. No. One, two... Oh, no, I could. Yeah, I can. Okay, right, so... Expand yeah, for free, well. so I'm going to go this way instead. Mm -hmm. Oops. So one, two, and then move down here for free. Yep. So that means I just need four military. Uh, one, two, three, and four. Yeah. Okay. Don't forget your coin. Yeah, I'll take my coin. Nice. Right, sorry about that guys. Slowed the right. game down a little bit, but there we go. I've expanded out quite a bit. <laughs> or it's giving me time to plan my vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I can't team up with anyone because I've already backstabbed everyone. <laughs> <laughs> everyone here? Is there anyone I haven't backstabbed yet? Uh, uh, well, we had a small alliance, you know, I'm happy you to like let... To you, you've attacked everyone else. So, I'm, yeah. now that I've claimed some territory and Baghdad, I'm happy to let water flow under the bridge and uh, and team up, if if need be. I'm, I'm, I mean, Nick is looking very vulnerable there. Yeah, there's no point attacking me, I'm weak. <laughs> <laughs> so easy there's nothing to see, what you're nothing to see. To I haven't built any building. <laughs> I'm just living in tents. I, I could any, be swayed to uh, claim some northern territories. If uh, the, the the northeast area, the looks north quite, quite northeast is yeah, looking yeah. quite attractive. My outer border. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to shore up by buying two buildings that are going to cost me six overall. Wow. Over there. And. Oh, you had a building in Cairo, didn't you? Oh, I did. That's right. So you need to have one yeah. as well. Oops. Oh, sorry. Thank you. So. Where, where's your card as well for Cairo? Oh, everyone starts with um, one building and one token yeah. on there. Uh, okay. the thing, so there was no. Yeah. Um, but I think I'm going to add these two over here. And I will add, I don't trust where this is, so I'm going to add two over here. <laughs> and that, oh, and I get a bonus action. I'm going to use my bonus action as a movement. I'm going to use this one military. And I am going to take over this spot because it's the only one I can manage to get with one military. Uh, but there's there's a nice spot oh, right over here as well. Yeah, but we just made a gentleman's agreement. But 
that didn't seem to count very much. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't trust him, Jinnis. I'll, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll do it if you align with me. We're both in pretty interesting situations. You have the top, I have the bottom. We could we could squeeze them in the middle. Yeah, we tried that last time. That didn't work out. Oh, okay. Then I, I'm just going <laughs> to. Uh, okay, I'll move the round marker on. I do like buildings. I must admit. Uh... <laughs> I'm going to try something different. I'm going to draw three developers. See what I get. Okay, I will harvest three coins. Uh, that's what I've got here. Okay, so, and then I'm going to build a building. Uh, three, yeah. three points for two tokens. I feel like Chris is doing quite well for himself. He's got all these buildings over here. He's got all this money over here. You didn't see nothing. You belong. You belong. I think you see. Let's put that token on one there. And then I'm going to use my bonus as an expand into this one there. All done. Uh, okay. Let's go for. Oops. Don't oh. worry, we can always shuffle this deck back up if this is going to that. For some reason, my mouse loves picking up entire decks of cards and they've lost it. So, add another building. Another one? Two coins. That's quite the clip. One, two, three, four. You got five. Five buildings. We're going to have to give you a nickname. <laughs> Let's call him Turtle. Mr. Turtle. <laughs> Chris, you don't need to shore up your outer defences. Honestly, we're we're friends. Um, yeah, I'm I'm going to treat that with a certain amount of paranoia. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, um, that's that's me done. Oh, uh, an extra action, isn't it? Um. Done. Okay, I'm going to take free military. This is the building king. Six buildings. <laughs> oh my word. Six free military units. Oh, Don't forget, you do need a movement. Yeah, I've got bonus action. Yeah. So Chris has eighteen points on the board right now. Let's see where I, I hear you. Caspian Sea is very nice. As is Merv. Silk Road. I've got fifteen. Plus your Baghdad bonus of three. You're uh, at yeah. eighteen. One, two, three, four. That area around Medina <laughs> is nothing to see. It's all you've desert. Got Eighteen as well. <laughs> right. So anyone's game with it, not it? Hmm. Okay. So I'm, I am going to get a little bit mean. I'm going to use my bonus action 
to move into here. I did warn you not to build on my borders. Um, Chris's lovely building. And I've just placed four military. So get out of here. You need five military for that. There's two tokens in that stack. Ah, is there? Right, okay, that that's fine. There you go. So three, four, five. And I get a bonus coin. Uh, there was four buildings in there, was there? Yes, yeah, so wow. this one and his garden. Two, three, four. Okay, that's me. Cool. I feel like there's probably a devastation in here somewhere because there's four cards left. <laughs> it has to be. So I'm tempted to draw three from the military. Instead, I think I'm going to do one of each. And I am going to build. No, I can't build. Wait, I can't. Oh, I can use my bonus action to get money. I could trade you some money. Yeah. In exchange for... You do not attack me for the rest of the game. <laughs> There's like two rounds left. I'm down with that. Yeah. You'll I'm spot at... me the, the four coins. Four How... coins? Oh, that's yeah, four coins. Four coins. He, he has no need... He doesn't need to actually honor that at all, Jim, yeah. That straight away. Not that I'm right. saying you would, of course. But... <laughs> <laughs> so I'll give you, I'll give you two coins. I'll take two coins, and then I put two coins in. Actually, you're uh... only half attack you. <laughs> <laughs> so you've then got the money to do what you want. Yep, and I'm gonna use my bonus action to get two more coins, which will pay for the rest of this. So add that there. One, two. Ew, wrong thing. One, two, and then I am going to build up right in the middle here, I'd say. <laughs> no, I'm going to build a wall around you. One, two, and three. And uh, that's it for me. Okay. Round penultimate. Hmm. I don't want to do everything at the moment. Um, okay, we have one expand. We have one military. What have I got? I've only got one coin, so yeah. Let's do that. I'll do another military. Let's see what I get. Okay. Interesting. Do -do. Right. I'm doing expand. There's three expand. Uh, hello, Jimus. Oh. oh. And hello, Jimus. So uh, that's the three military strength I need. Plus, I get a coin. And Baghdad belongs back to you. Take the back dad. Cool. And you and my bonus. You, you check your oh, hand you. limit at the end um, of your turn. End don't of your you? turn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Um and we've been good. No one's no one's been forging cards. It's uh everyone's been pretty much playing. Getting two coins because I can't do anything else. Okay, you done? Can I make a suggestion? I have a sneaky feeling all of us picked up our own devastation cards because I have mine. Yeah, and I have so, mine. Yeah, I have mine. I have a suggestion. There is one card left in the military. I say we put all of our devastations back in, reshuffle this deck. We can each take one military to make up for it. Um, and then hopefully. That fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
That's this is the reason I need to change it up so yeah. that way you can play it on anyone versus it just being one person. Mm. Just haven't gotten around to do it in tabletop yet. So we'll flip this guy, which was kind of epic anyways. That's amazing. Our deck of whatever thirty cards, we all picked our own ones up. Yeah, yeah. the odds. That happened in a different playtest, but this is the second time that's ever happened. Mm. So we'll switch it up in the future, then you can just play it on anyone. So we'll everyone can draw one card. more military just to make up for the one that we put back in. Cool. <laughs> you got your, did you get yours again? Have you picked yours up again? Yeah, I have. Yeah. Okay, let's just do this. You can play that devastation on anyone. It doesn't need to be your player. We'll just switch it up now. <laughs> okay. Just switch it up now. Or it affects everyone, what do you think? Rather yeah. No, it, you no can, it doesn't you affect everyone. Yeah. You can pick one person <laughs> that's not you, and you can decide to play it against them. And not me. Just... <laughs> 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 Slightly <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, Chris, if you want to play that card against any of the other players, you can do that. We'll <laughs> switch that rule up now. Whose go is it? Uh, it's me. Uh, Chris okay. just wrong. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we go for an expand three. Triple expand. Oh! And look what's right next to him. One in there. <laughs> Have you got the military though? I think so. I swear, I'm two, three, three, four, oh, he's, got, he's got four military cards. Five, six, seven, eight. You'll need. Yeah, I'll nine. You'll need. Two. Yeah, hang on. Uh, yeah. Two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Nine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So instead. <laughs> <that's not laughs> yeah, you do get your plus one. Bonus <laughs> yeah, just well. just move that under there. You yeah. don't you don't need the task you see. Okay, I've got uh, one. When can you play your devastation card? Curious. Uh, when it when it's your turn, you oh, can play it. Okay. I've got seven. <laughs> I like the thinking, Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't forget your plus one bonus. Um, so, if you need it. Yeah, so I've got. Yeah, I've got seven. So if I can make a recommendation, Eight. I don't think you need the cast B and C. You'll be able can to do I, anything you can want. I, can I you make another suggestion <laughs> that I'll give you two coins if you don't attack me? <laughs> that's five points though he's given up exactly yeah. that's why I'm, I'll give you three coins that's a point surely that you know 15 coins is what that's worth you like money Chris I've seen you collecting it and hoarding it there was riches in this <laughs> although he's also been collecting yeah. buildings three of which he can get or two of which he can get from you there yeah I do it yeah. devastates the strategy <laughs> that i was five six seven i'm giving you a free point if you don't attack me eight there's other ways you can go and get more points there's other ways you can go and get more points and you're getting a bonus point from me andrew what are, are, are you no? planning on playing your devastation against him if he does this i was thinking of playing it against you i'll be honest but i might play it against him if why, uh, why, 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 just say you'll do it if he attacks you right now yeah, I will. I will smite you with my devastation card if you uh, if you choose to do this. Well, uh, to remind me, what does devastation do? I'm not reading you my devastation card. <laughs> I will just they, they cast each have wrath different, upon uh, you. They each have different terrible things that happen. So there's some that make you lose your money. There's some that make you lose your military. There's some that make you lose your buildings. There's some that make you move lose your military, Chris. That's yeah. No, I, I'm 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 happy to take this and make you lose your money. Yeah. You sure? Already. Sure. Good I will cash. still give you three yeah, coins. No, we're, we're... I'm sorry, but you shouldn't have. 
That was my land. I've been ages doing it. Oh, <laughs> the, architect, uh, the architect's fees alone. Is <laughs> all that posh marble you had? Yeah, in, I, 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 Egypt. All that stuff all the way across the <laughs> across the land. And Over the, those so many, so many wheels. Running. It's like Can't Stonehenge, isn't it? The stone <laughs> came from Wales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Perfectly it's a lot good. Further, though, from, from Egypt. Really expensive. <laughs> all right, room. all right. Well, you, you, you have been warned. That's all I will say. Doesn't really matter at this point in the game, isn't it? It's only points, isn't it? It's only points. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's well, the white it's... token? Special one gives you two points. Is anyone else seeing that, or is that a texture problem? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Where's the white? No, don't worry. No, it's fine. It's ten blue now. Okay. <laughs> Right, okay. That's Go fine. On, talk, on. Isn't it? Take him down. <laughs> what am I going to do? I'm just going to draw free military. One movement as a bonus if you want to use I, uh, it. I've got a bonus movement. Don't okay. worry, I Eight, haven't four, forgotten. Five. Yeah, he needs five to take it over. <laughs> just for the sake of it. Just take it back over again. I mean, we we carved up that whole area. We had an agreement. <laughs> you just. It's all right. I'm going to move one. Oh, we stealing in Baghdad. My back. bonus. Oh. And then spend one, one military. Oh, now you're keeping all the rest of your military card. Man, that's going to be dangerous. Thank you. It will be mine again. There's other prizes to be had, Nick. Don't get pent up and focused Well, there are, but there's also Baghdad, which is the name of the game. So I feel obliged <laughs> to try and take it back from you. Um, just a thought. With, your, uh, with the, the idea of you being able to play Devastation against anyone, mm -hmm. um, would you be able to play multiple Devastations in the same turn? I'm wondering if that might be a bit too... Overpowering? Yeah, or a bit too demoralizing. But yeah, well, especially if someone two... drew all four of them. Yeah, you just yeah. Or if you're limited that's... to playing one per turn, that's... yeah, I think you know that's a really good point. I'm gonna jot that down. That uh, if you have a devastation, you're only allowed to play one per turn. I oh, mean, it's not it, it's it's a fringe case. I think it's, it's not gonna happen that often. But yeah. But I mean, like we all drew our own well, devastation. Yeah. Are we incorporating <laughs> that rule in this game? <laughs> um, have you got well, <laughs> well, we do this. He's just got all the dips. <laughs> yeah, he's got like no one for each of us. I feel like um, for this one, just because I feel bad for what Andrew's been going through, you can do multiple, but you can't go up to the same person. Okay, that's fair. So, yeah, I accept yeah. that. Yes, yeah, so you can't Fine. do like three on Chris and then no. you just <laughs> <laughs> wipe his points from the map. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. A really I'll really spread the pain about. <laughs> Nick, bear that in mind, by the way. I, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm bearing it in mind. You know, I like Baghdad. It's nice sunny <laughs> this time of year. We have five points here, there. It's only three uh, points, isn't it? Oh, well, uh, yeah, with the tokens, well, you've got five two tokens, points. Isn't yeah. Yeah. So, Andrew, were you playing your devastation? There's only one round. No, no, left. no, I'm not. Yeah, whoa. You'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Final it's, turn. It's so cryptic. It's going to bomb the whole place. He doesn't actually have any devastations at all. Yeah, he's bluffing. Yeah. He's got single. Oh, have you things. checked the stream? Have you? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't checked the stream. <laughs> all right, Andrew, if you're done, I'll go. Yeah, yeah, I am done. Yeah, it's your go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm just trash talk at this point. <laughs> Intimidate. All we have left is Threaten and save a rattle. That's that's what I'm all about at this stage. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna drop a devastation over here on the Seljuks. Uh, you have to get rid of four of your military units. So those are say this card over here is worth two military units. Yeah. Now you don't have any cards, which means on your next round you have to draw for military. 
yeah, and then nice. discard down until this Did is you get four? <laughs> nice i like that move cool. that's good that's, it's uh, made me rethink great. my strategy that helps <laughs> quite a bit on what i'm going to do next because <laughs> Be kind. really want to take over a bunch of people's spots. Um, I hit back that. I've got three devastation cards <laughs> in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have it. We have an agreement going on, him and I. So, I am going to use uh, one military, two military, and I, I think am Chris, going... you and I pin some movement. We get Jinnas <laughs> up the middle here. Use this movement here, which will let me take over this spot. Mm -hmm. So let's go there. Yeah. Claim that one. Which I believe is your capital city. It is, yeah. Yeah, it was. <laughs> and I'm going to take your memories. <laughs> we once owned that city. Changed hands so many times. And get one coin out of that. And I think that is it for me. Um, or is it? Yes, it is. All right. Final round, gents. Crumbs. Okay. All right. I need some movement. Um, need some military. I'm just making a note. Attack Nick Shaw. What? What? <laughs> what do we have out, Gina's? Naughty, naughty. Well, just you know, um, be mindful. I, I like might get back down. I get. I don't need money. I don't want to get development. Just get money. So I need two coins, which be worth any points. I'm gonna risk it or a biscuit. Oh no, I can. I can do my bonus. Then you can get two coins as a bonus action, which uh, gives you. But exactly I kind of want that for expand. What's the ratio of um, money cards to building cards in the development deck? Um, it's about it's about sixty percent buildings, forty percent um, money. But then there's money spread out between. You can also get some money in military, like this one has it, and some money in mm. expansion. So you can get money in any of the three decks, but generally it's about sixty forty in the builds. Okay. Well, the Chris has built most of the buildings. So. <laughs> <laughs> <Not any less. laughs> I'm going to risk it and see if I get a building. I'll take a development. Oh well, that was not a, a building. So I will get the two coins, which at least gets me a point at the end of the game. Which I feel I'm going to need. And then I will play Expand. Where's it gone? There he is. Um... Hello, Jinnah. Yep. And that's my two I'm, military. I'm just putting an asterisk next to attack next shore. <laughs> two asterisks, I hope. Triple underline. Yeah, I'm, I'm triple underline. underline. Four <laughs> exclamation marks. Uh, and then I'm going to do my bonus movement. Where shall I go? I kind of want to take the whole of this area, so I'm going to do that. And that's my extra military to take that over. Pretty good turn. You reclaim Baghdad and the points that go along with that. Yes, in mm. well for now. It won't last long. I get the feeling. Devastation is coming. Okay, it's me done. Okay, so my last turn of the game. I have to draw military cards. You've got to discard full value. You don't have to draw all military if you uh, get the full uh, value I, that you want to discard. I had to. Okay. Fine. Um. I. I. I had a, a one military, a one military, and a two military. Wow. So I had okay. <laughs> That kills your so turn. Play all I those like and it. then discard yeah. the it kills my turn. Do I still get the coin off of one of them? Yeah, you still get yeah. the coin from one of them. And if you want, because you have your bonus action, 
You could probably just sacrifice your bonus action as a military, or you could just gather more coins. Because you can't really move anywhere right now. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, so I would... Uh, yeah, you need one more coin to get the extra point. Yeah, money. so I'll get... So that's the money for the military. Did you give me the coin from the military card, or...? Oh, I have not. Okay, no, that's, that's, that's fine, just so I don't go up too much. There's three coins. Two bonus. Okay. That's okay. Right, Jonas, do your worst, which I shouldn't really say. <laughs> <laughs> of course you Ugh. Ugh. All right. Okay, before on you minute. devastate me, how many points have I got? <laughs> so, if, if you were going to devastate anyone, it makes sense to devastate me because I'm the next person to go oh. or the last person to go. Yeah. But he has underlined my name three times. <laughs> Oh, just, just for spite. This won't have any impact yeah. on the game. Yeah. Yeah. Take that. King making Jonas. Yeah. How, how much is your spite worth? <laughs> <laughs> What's going to get me the most points? So that will get me five, and that's less. So half is is in the lead at the moment by one point. I think he's one point ahead of Chris. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's. You've just made my decision much, much easier. Yeah, you're still ahead of me, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's play the devastation. All right, let's see. Oh, devastating plague! It's got three cards, from hand. three cards from my hand. So I'm going to get rid of this one now. Yeah. And then two on your turn. Yeah. Okay. Four, so that could include a, a devastation card if you have. Could it? Is that... It could do. Yeah. Yeah. Which would just get discarded and not active. Yeah. Okay. There's there's different ways to deal with the devastation. So one is you just pay its cost. The other is if you still have your leader advantage, you can sacrifice your leader. Mm -hmm. Um. And then there was a third I am blanking on. Oh, then the third one is just if you don't have anything, you got to pick up on your next turn like this had to do. Yeah, okay. And I need five military. So I'm going to use... So I just yeah. expanded two. Oh, take him back, back down. And I'm going to... That's all my points are coming from. One, <laughs> two, three... Four, and my bonus is five. So, get out of here. Off you go. I think that's changed hands so many times. I thought it just install a revolving door. <laughs> Oops. That's very historic, isn't it? You can totally change your hands. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So I have to discard two cards. Yeah. So Hopefully that will gonna... restrain. Yeah, two restrain options enough. One from here in the hopes I have a devastation. I do, and it's out of spite. <laughs> I'm gonna play this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna discard these two. I got some buildings. One. The building three that, coins uh, you're using wanted. against me, yeah. And I'm using this for no other reason than the fact that you played one on me. It has no <laughs> impact on the game. Well, well I lose a victory well, it loses point. A point. Yeah. It might. It point might. Down. That might. You might lose might. by one point, Jim. Is that? Would yeah, be that would be pretty annoying. Well. <laughs> <laughs> and what was your? Oh, that's the one card you've got to play, isn't it? Oh, nice. Yeah, okay. I had to discard my other two, and I had this yeah, one. Yeah. The one military I picked up. So. And that's it. <laughs> that's the end of the game. And that's, yeah, that's it, the full round. So what we do now is we just quickly count up the number of tokens we have on the board. Uh, whoever has Baghdad, which is uh, Andrew over here, gets an extra three points. And then every coin, okay. every three coins equals one point. 
abysmal 19. Break 20. I've just got, I've got 20. I've 19. Ooh, Chris, what you on? You're my worry. Chris, I'm 20 uh, right now. What's he on 21 now? Go on, the suspense is killing us. 23? What? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 18. And how many coins? Yeah, 23, right? Eight. Wow. Damn. See? We ignored Chris and we went after each other. Yeah, I know. It was, it was Chris all along. Yeah, it's five territories. <laughs> yeah. Just turtling, basically. Yeah, well, we have really control good, seven. Yeah. We have good set of skirmishes just in this area over here. Yeah, I mean, this was. This was uh, that was the skirmish region. Uh, yeah, yeah, this, big, this and Baghdad. Baghdad. Like, Baghdad. Yeah, yeah, I feel other. like I wasted a lot of resources mm, retaking back then. <laughs> <laughs> every right. every time I wanted to take Baghdad or I had Baghdad, I wanted to build and then just it got taken from me. <laughs> <laughs> if you hadn't taken Magin as the last time, I would have had twenty four. Wow. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, it, 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 it was a quick very, and easy steal at the end of the game. It's I'll be honest. It, it, it sounds like there's a big difference, but it's not. It's actually it it could have swung really, really easily. Mm, mm. Just the one else when just yeah. one how it all came down. I mean. One territory. If that yeah. one had been swapped out or uh the area next to Medina down here. Yep. Um, or Ky just south of Cairo. Mm. Um it could have easily swung in another direction. That yeah. Was, um, I agree. Yeah. yeah I there's agree. a limited number of spaces on purpose, so at some point mm. you have to you have to think about whether or not you want to build, or does it make sense to take over someone's spot? Because not only does it help me, but it hurts them. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Indeed. Yeah, we should target to Chris more. I'm going to switch out to the multi view <laughs> a second. Cool. And Chris, you get the beat the designer award as well. You do. I need to make. I need to make a little trophy. I'll. I'll create a badge. I'll send it to you. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> not after this. Although I, I think that was probably Jinner's. <laughs> winning it for me then <laughs> yeah a little bit yeah out of spite there was a little bit of luck of the draw at the end with my military cards if i'd got bigger mm. military cards in that draw then i was hoping to occupy more territory basically mm. um it didn't work out that way so yeah it's the england football team Damn. um strategy of winning by getting someone else to win for you <laughs> I think we've all had a really great evening playing this. Yeah. Well, yeah thank you guys for taking the time to, to go through this and to uh, backstab one another and put up with my my uh, fair weather alliances. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sorry at the I end think there I that I, I every broke single one up. of you at least once. Yeah. <laughs> I am sorry that at the end of the game I, I completely uh, tore up our peace agreement um but it was i hit you with a devastation right yeah, after. yeah it, it was gonna be a stronger strategy again yeah, if i had those military cards i would have uh taken you and chris down um i really enjoyed it i i've made a couple of notes as we played i'm sure you'd be keen to hear um oh absolutely but i'll go last nick have you got any thoughts or I've got, anything I'll that you'd like to show I mean, later, so. all right yeah <laughs> Fantastic. Um, Go for it. So, quick, quick pros and cons. Um, I really like the historical setting. I think it's um, really interesting. Um, I love the art style. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how the art develops on that. It's really nice, nice artwork. Um, the turns are really nice and simple, uh, and the action is really simple. So that's really good. It keeps it flowing. Um, I like that there are icons in the cards as well as the text to help out, make it really quick to see. Um, I do love the font for the that you've used for the text, so it looks like it's, it's Arabic, even though it's in English. So that's really nice, um, and it feels a lot like El Grande in the, in the mm. gameplay-wise. That kind of area control, continually shifting things. So that's really cool. Um, the on the cons list, uh, not really very much. Um, I think the the using the words movement and expand, the, effectively the same thing, is confusing. Because move makes you think of physically moving something, which you, you're not doing. Um, 
that's yeah, that's going to be streamlined. I think easily. Um, the building cards say pay a certain amount of money and then place a certain number of tokens, and it only shows the number of tokens. Um, so I'm wondering if it should show the coins as well. Just a thing, maybe. Just a little idea. Um, what else can I go through quickly? Um, ideas. Um, I do like the, the where we started doing the drawing three cards individually to then change what your strategy might be. I, I think that works probably better, although it might slow it down a bit. Um, the only real negative was that there was quite a lot of downtime between turns in a short game. Um, I think it's, be, it's going to be quicker in physical form anyway, because it's much quicker to move the tokens around. It won't be much, quite as much, but that's just something to be aware of. Um, I had the idea that maybe you, instead of playing a Devastation as a Devastation, you could discard it for another action instead. Oh, if, well, okay. if, if it wasn't advantageous to you, and it was just getting stuck in your hand, you could just use it as a single military or something instead. That would um, have definitely, when I drew my own card, I would have yeah, ditched it exactly. for that. Yeah, yeah, because that would be a nice way of getting around that. Um, and I thought, how uh, just to improve the downtime, how different would it be? And I don't know if you've tried it playing where you just get one action a turn rather than playing all the cards in your hand. So you, you draw three and then you just play until you run out of cards in your hand. And then you draw up again. So you're each playing a, one action each. It's almost kind of terraforming Mars like where you get you play two actions a turn all the time. Um, I don't know how that would unbalance things, but it would speed up the turns a lot. Uh, so it's just an idea. Let's try that. Um, yeah. Um, test. Yeah, um, and I would love as as a, a kind of a Kickstarter stretch goal to have actual building miniatures to put on the on the rather than tokens that are the right size and things. That'd be that'd be really cool. I'm, um, I'm hoping to have like I have a few things that I have in mind for uh, for for that, and the buildings are definitely one of them. Just to be able to cool. put like something. Would look, it would look, just looks so good. Yeah, it would that. look yeah. really cool. Yeah. It would look really cool. Um, and I'll skip those bits. Um, how does it how does it feel the difference between the three and the four player game? Is there any do you tighten the, the board doesn't change this and tighten up is it three player? The board doesn't change. So originally the way it was was the board would shrink a little bit. So you would still have mm -hmm. Baghdad and you have the Fatimids and you have one of the, the groups in the West, so it was almost like yeah. this. Um and then we were doing a test and we just got rid of someone playing as Baghdad. There was still a building there, there was still a spot, but everyone had to rush into the center. And so it's okay. it's a little bit more of a free for all to start off the game where everyone's just trying to rush. Um, yeah. So you get a little bit less building early on. It's a little bit more uh, move race attack. The... <laughs> yeah, race for the center. Uh, but it led to some interesting strategy too. So in the three player, because most people to went, tend to want to rush to the center, you have the opportunity to take advantage of the fact that people are leaving the outskirts alone. So you can, <laughs> you can decide, do I want to build out now? Not build out, um, expand out now. Hold on to territory because I know lands at a premium. Or do I want to try and get to the center? It's from the center I can ex I can radiate out and control everything. So it um, it definitely goes faster because there's less people. There's more of a mad rush in the beginning. Um, I prefer four people just because whenever I play board games, I just like having more people around. I feel it's more social. Mm -hmm. And we're working on a fifth player one right now that we're yeah, playtesting, yeah. where that little area that was at the top that uh, didn't yeah. actually have anything would be the Byzantines, just to add in a little mm -hmm. bit more tension. So it's almost like a, an X now. You have two here, two here, and one in the center. So how do you want to go about it? And then if you're over here, you have to worry about whoever's above or below you as well. OK. Pretty cool. Cool. Chris, okay. have you yeah, got anything I, that you'd like to add? I really liked it. Um, did you ever consider having some sort of rule for crossing, say, the, the Red Sea and the Persian Gulf um, and that kind of thing. Yeah, um, something like double movement to be able to go over water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, um, I mean, some, one way you could possibly do it is on those squares that occupy, for example, the, the Persian Gulf, you mark one, you, you mark one line uh, in different colors, say red, and if your movement crosses over that line, then it costs you extra movement, or it costs you one extra. It, say it costs you a coin, so it, it, it costs you. You have to pay extra money to buy more baggage, uh, to pay for more, you know, more resources. 
to cross the line rather than cross the movement or something. I don't know. Maybe that's the use of the coin, which was my, the next thing I thought was. Yeah, yeah. There didn't seem a lot of use for the coins. Yeah. Um, so maybe coins could be used to to to, to cross uh, seas. I like that. We originally play tested where it cost you two movements to be able to cross over any area that was mostly water. Mm -hmm. um, it ended up just slowing things down. People would just mm -hmm. go around yeah. them. But I like this idea of paying paying a cost. It costs you more money, more supplies to be able to get across. So I do like that. Um, that here. Yeah. So say that the Caspian Sea, for example, it, um, in the top. Uh, I don't know if we can go back to. So, for example, up here, this this line here yeah. would be a red line because mm -hmm. you're crossing the sea from that square to that square. Down here in the Persian Gulf, it'd be probably these three lines here. Yeah. Um, and then in the Red Sea, uh, it would be almost like a dog leg, okay. almost no, like, yeah. like yeah. that shape. Or even you could have a red line here and a red line here and then a corridor in the middle where it's easier to get up through the Red Sea. Mm. Um, just okay, that yeah, that's that's possibly, I don't know if that yeah. might create um, funnels and that kind of thing. So it might it might unbalance things with with the way some players start. Um, but that's I don't know. Maybe that's a, that might be worth looking into. Like it's something to try out. Like uh, we we started with movement. We never considered money. And uh, that definitely, that definitely would have put a, a little bit of a chunk into Chris's uh, stash <laughs> that he had there. <laughs> um, yeah, because I, I was I was grabbing cash because I didn't have anything. I I couldn't go anywhere. I was hemmed in, um, and I was basically just cycling through that development deck to get the buildings, um, yeah. and then I just yeah. ended up by accident with a pot of cash. I like, think that actually won you the game, I'll be honest. So I, I, yeah. in itself, that was quite a useful strategy, I'll be honest. Yeah. Mm. Okay. It was um, all by accident. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you say by accident. I think it was all well planned. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got a couple of things. Like The first one is, this is really interesting on Tabletopia because we can have secret conversations between players. Now, I don't actually think Chris read his messages that I was sending him on Zoom. Yeah, no. no, he wasn't at no, all. No, I've just seen. I've just seen. <laughs> <laughs> but that. It, can you tell us what those are? Um, I'm, I'm very intrigued now. Uh, we're a team. Don't attack me. <laughs> Let's go after Green. <laughs> Along he, those lines. He claims he didn't read them. <laughs> no, he didn't see them. Um, because it was just before he attacked that territory. And if he didn't do mm. that, I would have done something a bit different. And that in itself is quite interesting. So like secret agreements, I don't know how you could inc incorporate that into an actual physical game unless it's, I don't know, mobile powered or something like that. Or you have an envelope that you pass around the table or something, but it, it would be too obvious. Right, I don't know. Yeah. I, I, I do remember way, way many, many years ago, um, it, was a, it was a game to workshop game called uh, Mighty Empires, which was a hex-based one, right? Which was designed to be played over a very, very long period of time. Uh, it was meant to be a campaign system, but in in that one, we had a house rule that if you wanted to pass a message to someone, you physically had to hand on a piece of paper. You, every, so everyone could see you passing the message, but no one could see what you were writing. Uh, yeah, I got you. What that message read? You, you could see what what the people were potentially talking to, but we had no idea. What yeah, they were talking about. I just like the yeah. idea that. Agree some agreements are secret. So regardless yeah. of what you're saying and what you're perceiving you'll do, there is still other secret alliances. And that to me feels like it facilitates re the real politics of that time in some way. Um, which leads me nicely on to the history, which I absolutely love, um, which is great. And just a little add or consideration that you might want to think about is the, some of the flavor text on yep. the military cards so like significant events that occurred in that period of time um you know and i thought the military cards do it really well because you could talk about historical battles you could do about you know breaking of alliances between factions there's there's stuff that you can put in those and I'm, you're the history teacher 
So uh, I'm sure you've got tons of content that you can can put into that. Um, the next one, yeah, and I think that historical flavor text could steer the learning as well in the classroom. So that was my reason, really, my note for saying that. And the other one as well, the variety of the military cards. So mm -hmm. similar to what Chris said, but having slight tweaks or slight variants. So, for instance, if you draw a military card, it might have a bonus if you attack a region with a building. Or mm -hmm. if you attack a region uh, with a single occupant, you get money or something. Just small variants to... to to add a bit more flavor. I don't want to add anything more because I think it's the simplicity of this game that really makes it quite fun and um, and it's the politics, it's the table talk and interaction amongst the players. So yeah, I wouldn't add too much, but yeah, just something to, to think about really. And that's really my thinking on it. I really enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah, and this, this is so, great. I've jotted all of this down and it's definitely stuff that I want to play test. Um, cool. I really like what you mentioned about the secret messages back and forth and possibly having some notepad or something that comes with the game where you could just jot things mm -hmm. down, mm -hmm. pass along it and cool. so forth. I'm, I'm even just picturing um, my, my group of friends when we were able to get back in person. I can picture someone, as everyone else is focused on the board, sliding a piece of paper yeah. purposely and be yeah, like, yeah. oh, Nick just passed Chris a piece of paper, but they were really the ones that put the piece of paper there. So uh, <laughs> there's a whole new layer of interaction in that. Mm, mm. Yeah. Or, yeah. Um, or, or, you know, everybody sat around a table and you, and you say to someone, just come over here and I'm going to talk to you in a second. Or you do just go over there and you just pretend to talk to the other person. You're not yeah. doing anything at all. You're just playing with different Yeah, people, so. creating that subterfuge. So, yeah, mm. Chris, can I just have a chat with you in the corner? And then I go <laughs> and take Chris over and I'm like, I've got nothing to say to you. Uh, you know, and then come back and then just start bluffing. Chris wanted me to make this secret alliance against Nick. You know, it'd be <laughs> absolutely hysterical. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it'd be great to play test something like that. Um... <laughs> hey, I think that's good. I'm gonna, in the rule book, I'm going to put in a few suggestions for like those things as well. <laughs> when, when we were able to play test this live, there was a lot, generally when you're at the table, and, and there was a lot more bribing and, and like yeah. negotiating back and forth um which is a little bit harder online but mm. uh, i i'm glad that we had the chance to do this because that idea of secretly sending someone a skype message or access skype. yeah uh, it was a shame chris didn't read my messages, messages. <laughs> if he had then more would have flowed i think <laughs> that would have been much fun um thank you very much for coming on and sharing this game thank you for yeah. having me Great to have you. I think we'd we'd like to have you back as well at some point. As the game develops, do do reach out to us and if you want to come on again, do. Um I think it's really fun. And uh, yeah, I'd like to see once it goes to Kickstarter and makes its journey to Kickstarter, it would be great to, to see it progress. But yeah, thank, well, thank you, you so much. I would I would love to, to be back and hopefully incorporate a bunch of these different changes in and add in the new art and everything. The devastation, we actually got a very cool piece of art in from the artist uh, this morning. So Ooh. you probably noticed that the skull that was on there was a little bit um, different from the art style from somewhere, yeah. somewhere yeah. else. The, uh, oh, do I have it? Um, I think, sorry, I'm like, no, it's just, no kind of, I'm just trying to pull up his text message because it just looks super cool. And I'm hoping that uh, I can just update the cards for the next time around. Cool. Well, I tell you go. what, we will, we will show them off next. Oh, oh, nice! Yeah. Oh, that nice. is cool. That's cool. That's very cool. That is very cool. Very nice. Well, thank you so much. Um, right, let's do the exit intro. Don't go anywhere because uh, we'll we'll have a little chat afterwards. Uh, let's turn this off. Do, 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 do. Um. Hang on a second. I'm gonna. Sorry, I'm t right. I didn't plan the final screen to have you all on screen this week because Nick and I played Thursday, and I've forgotten to update it. So I'm so sorry. You guys are off screen, but everyone can still right. hear you. All right. So um, when when we say goodbye, you can all 
you can all shout goodbye. Um, thank you very much for anyone who's watched this or if you're watching it on YouTube later this evening or next week, whenever you like. Uh, thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, this is a patron funded channel. So if you've enjoyed it that much and would like to participate in Playtest Broadcast or become a live player, then go check it out. It's www.patreon.com forward slash in-game UK. Uh, that was Baghdad. 10 55 uh, with the games designer um this evening and it was really good fun so yeah thank you so much for coming on and uh, we hope to see you all again soon take care